Hey everyone, so this is a highly, highly requested um, nail art. So they're Superman nails and they're probably one of my favorite designs I've ever done. So this is how they look like and I'm going to show you how you can achieve this look. So firstly, we apply the base coat to protect your natural nail from staining. It's really important that you put base coat on because we're going to apply a blue color and it's really, it's a really like harsh color on your nails. So um, I would really, really recommend base coat. If you don't have a base coat, just put on clear coat, something that's just not too dark. If you're wondering what color I'm using, I'm using Sally Hansen's um, Hard as Nail Extremer line, um, Pacific Blue. That's the color that he wears. So now we're going to make the logo. Um, there's a couple steps to making the logo. So first we're going to take a red and we're going to make the kind of stencil or the outer layer of it first. And then um, I'm going to take a toothpick after and I'm going to kind of draw in the S. Um, but if you don't know how to make a dotting tool, which I'm using right now, um, you I will link a video of how to make a dotting tool down below. And you can go check that out if you don't know how to make one. Okay, now I'm going to use the toothpick and I'm going to make the S. I'm using a toothpick because it's way thinner and we want the S to fit. If you mess up, it's okay because after we're going to um, make put on the yellow, so um, it's going to be covered up. And then you can touch it up after and fix it. If your yellow, um, which I will show you right now, if your yellow isn't opaque enough, I would put on white first, then put on the yellow. But my yellow, thankfully, is very opaque, so it's all good. And if you were wondering what red color I was using, I was using Sally Hansen Hard as Nails Seductive. And I'm for the yellow, I'm using Sally Hansen um, Extreme Wear Line Mellow Yellow. So as you can see, I kind of messed up my S completely, so I'm going to go in and I'm going to make some touch-ups. Kind of tweak it a bit. So now I'm going to take my toothpick again. I'm just going to go over my S and try to make this close to perfect, as perfect as you can get. Okay, so the last part is where we make the outer layer. I'm just going to take a black striper and I'm just going to go over it. Um, so then it just, you can tell where it ends, where the logo starts and where it ends. And plus it'll look a little more prominent on your nails. But don't make it too thick. And lastly, we're going to apply the top coat. I, I'm not going to put on sparkles this time because I don't think Superman would like sparkles on his nails. And you're done. And this is how your finished piece will look like. I hope you guys really enjoyed this tutorial. And I'll see you guys next time. But before I finish, um, I just need to tell you that um, Juicy Star Wars 7 and All That Glitters 21 are having a contest. Um, it's like a spring theme contest. And I'm actually going to use one of my tutorials already to put it into that um, contest. So if you see, um, like, I think it's called the spring flower nail art that I have. If you see that pop up twice, just don't mind it. It's the same thing, but it has different audio. And it's just, like, dedicated to Ellen Blair for their contest. So if you guys want to watch it, it's, like, the same thing. It's just a different audio. Again, so I hope you guys really enjoy this. It's one of my favorite nail arts that I've ever done. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye!